Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Snipe Rail, remarkable birds given their very long 7cm curved bills, which were long, slender and flexible unlike the solid pecking bills of most other rails. I hope you enjoy. Snipe Rails were small, flightless birds with particularly tiny wings, the smallest proportionally out of all rails, but with well-developed legs. They have been estimated to have weighed around 240 grams in weight, meaning that they were a bit larger than still living abandoned rails. Their most defining trait was their remarkable 7cm long bill, which was longer in proportion to the birds than in any other rail, with this bill therefore having some implications for their behaviour and lifestyle. The bill was very different from the solid pecking bills of most other rails, with the bill in snipe rails being longer and more flexible. The upper part of the bill was able to be bent, both near the base and near the tip, using muscles in the head with force transmitted using ligaments and bars of bone. This allowed the birds to open and close the tip of the bill under soil, while the bill base remained closed. This is known of in other probing birds like Godwits, Snipe and Kiwi, which probe into substrates looking for prey, a more efficient way of gathering food without opening their entire bill, saving energy in the process. The bill tip also possesses pockets with pits for sensory cells, known as Herb's corpuscles, which sense changes in pressure in a moist soil and mud. What this means is that birds could detect the movements of prey without touching them, allowing for an increased ability in detecting and catching their food. The first evidence of snipe rails were found in Karamu Cave, southwest of Hamilton by cavers in 1954. Since then, many complete skeletons have been found, all in the North Island indicating endemism. The area where the bones were found indicated a preference under wet western forests, with a closed canopy, an ideal habitat to better get their beaks through the ground to find prey. Sadly, snipe rail soon underwent a drastic decline with Maori occupation, and with forest clearance changing the environment from podocarp forest to bracken and scrub, couples with introduced Polynesian rats all but dooms the birds to a swift and sudden extinction. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Cook's Petrol, small gadfly petrols which are now doing well through intensive pest control. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.